to be able to do the job that I joined the Navy to do. We do all this training, we have all this equipment, and then to finally be able to do it, and just everything comes together. Everyone just, just switches on and, and things happen. We were informed that there were people that needed our assistance. There, there was no doubt in my mind that I, I needed to be on that list of volunteers. When we, we came out of the boat onto Anzac, they recognised myself and the, the bowman that was in the boat and they knew exactly who we are and they were incredibly grateful towards us for going out there and, and getting them into the boat. The fishermen were in, in surprisingly good health. There were 20 of them in total and we were actually quite fortunate because they didn't picked up by the Japanese fishing vessel prior to our arrival. Uh, they were able to be fed, have some water to drink, so most of those the dehydration, hypothermia things were addressed. My interactions with the Japanese ship were very simple instructions and phrases uh, via radio, basically just to tell them what the situation was at the time when we were conducting the transfers. We did have one member uh, of the crew who, who did require medical attention as he had sustained an injury to his hand and he was subsequently evacuated. But otherwise everyone was, was very well, a few little cuts and scratches, but all in good health and high speed. So as a precaution, we actually had a, the ability to perform COVID testing aboard HMAS Anzac. And so not long after all of the 20 fishermen <laughs> on board, we, we did take swabs from each of them and then we, we ran the tests over the preceding 10 hours or so. Semoga yang di rumah dapat apa dan selalu mendoakan. Ini saya sih, his mum, his dad and he is fine being here with us.